When you play Geometry Dash, your goal is to make it from the start of the level all the way to the end, without hitting any obstacles along the way. Just making it to the end of the level is already impressive, so as a reward for doing so, the game rewards you with a number of stars that increases depending on the level you just completed. It's a neat little way of showing you just how much time and effort you've put into the game. That being said, stars are also a massive problem for the game right now. In this video, I'll explain why stars, and more specifically, the leaderboards, are broken. You might be wondering why that's the case. After all, I just said that stars are a neat little way of showing you just how much time you put into the game, like 20 seconds ago. While that is the case, it's let the stars, as a currency, become misleading. Let's start with the way stars are given. At the end of a level, you are given a number of stars that increases the more challenging the level is, but there is a cap to the number of stars that you can gain in a level. For any custom made level, you can only achieve a maximum of 10 stars per level by completing the highest difficulty, the demon. Now, there are 5 different sub-classifications of the demon difficulty, ranging from easy demons which can be completed in a matter of minutes, up to extreme demons, which push the player to their absolute limits taking thousands of attempts and hours to complete. Despite the big disparity in difficulty between a level like the Nightmare and on the higher end, Tartarus, these levels both give the same number of stars despite one level taking on average 100 attempts to complete and the other taking on average up to 50,000. While the gaps in extreme demons can be calculated for more accurately on the demon list, the same cannot be said for stars. This is why for the best player awards at the end of every year, the nominees that are selected are chosen more so by their demon list points, a community made leaderboard, rather than the leaderboard that has been used in the game itself for upwards of a decade. This leads into the next area to talk about, and that is the contrast between the star system and the list point system. Despite both being earned by completing levels in Geometry Dash, the way they are grinded are polar opposites. Star grinding can be seen as a mindless task, and whether that's a good or bad thing is up to you to decide. For some, it can be seen as a relaxing way to unwind, and for others, it can be seen as one of the most boring ways to play the game. It's relatively low stress, and most levels can be sight read in one attempt. The opposite side of the coin is demon list grinding. The top 150 hardest levels are listed on a community run website and each level completed net to a certain amount of list points that increases as difficulty increases. So you might be asking me, what's the difference between the two if they have the same method of calculation? The difference is that the demon list uses an exponential curve instead of a linear curve that Star Granny uses. The rewards become huge once you reach the hardest levels in the game, with the hardest level offering 25 times the rewards as the easiest level. For Star Grinding, the difference in rewards between demons and easy levels is only 5 times, or 5 times as flat. If you haven't cut on yet, what I'm proposing is that the star values of demon levels should be raised exponentially based on their difficulty. It doesn't have to be perfect, but at least make it so that the most skilled players, who put in close to the same amount of time as the most successful star grinders, can be represented equally on the leaderboards. The ultimate goal for a player is to climb as high as possible on the leaderboard, with the title of the number one player looming large. However, in order to reach even the top 100, you have to collect over 100,000 stars, which is almost half of the total amount of stars available in the game. You have to beat half of the number of rated levels that have been accumulating for nearly a decade, in order to find yourself at the bottom of the top 100. Getting up to the top 10 requires you to complete roughly 95% of all rated levels, including demons. Reaching the top 5 requires over 100% of levels completed, or more. But you might be wondering, isn't that impossible? How come you need more than 100% of all rated levels to reach the highest value? Are the players at the top cheating stars in? No, they'd be banned if that were the case. The reason why it's impossible to ever reach this point in the leaderboard are the daily levels. That's right, these innocent looking babies are the reason for the total destruction of the star's leaderboard. So anyway, here's how our daily levels work. Every day, there's a level that's featured to all players 
that can be completed for extra stars, orbs, and diamonds. There's also a weekly demon level that provides the same benefits, although it's a demon level, so it's a little bit harder. So, what's the problem here? The levels give extra rewards to the players, so shouldn't that help newer players climb the rankings? Well, the problem is, is that they give extra stars. Literally. All daily and weekly levels are on the servers, so you can complete the levels twice for the same rewards. If you miss a daily or weekly level, you have until the next day or week to catch up. If you don't, too bad, so sad. The level is gone forever, and there's no way to get those stars back. Also, did you know that there's been over 6 years of daily levels? If it isn't already obvious, the reason why it's impossible to enter the top 5 on the star leaderboard is because the extra stars from the daily and weekly levels have made it so the top players on the leaderboard have more stars on their profile than how many stars you can achieve by completing every single rated level in the game, including every extreme demon and every level on the demon list. If someone went ahead and did this, they would be the best player in the game's history, without a doubt. But thanks to these cute little daily levels, the best player to ever touch the game won't even place inside the top 5 on the star's leaderboard. Fantastic! While these levels help newer players unlock achievements quicker, over the course of the last 5 years, the number of daily levels has snowballed to the point where the leaderboards could not be salvaged. It would take at least a few months of constant raiding with no more daily or weekly levels to make it physically possible to reach the top 5, and even still, the number 1 player has nearly a 10,000 star advantage from daily and weekly levels alone making passing this player impossible as long as I complete the new rates. All this leads to the fact that the star leaderboards are tainted, have been tainted, and will continue to be tainted for as long as daily and weekly levels exist. So, how can the state of the leaderboards be improved to the point where it is fair for all types of players? The first and most obvious move is to rework daily and weekly levels to no longer give double stars to a player. Doing this might have an impact of the positioning of all players, but would allow for anyone to take the top spot on the leaderboard. Additionally, leaderboards are only interesting if they change. People complained for years about Viperns running at the number one spot on the creator point leaderboard, and has only recently been unseated after holding the spot for over seven years. Smithy is currently on pace to have a similar length of reign on the stars leaderboard if nothing is done. This is not in any way a direct attack at Smithy, I have so much respect for them for keeping up the grind for so many years, and it'd be a shame for it to be undone. I just think it's fair that everyone has the same number of stars to play from. I'm also in favor of having a reworked scaling of stars for demon levels. Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate, but it should better represent the difference in time it takes to be an extreme demon compared to a medium demon. The overall arcing goals that we're trying to achieve here is that the leaderboards have to be fair. Having differences of tens of thousands of stars due to daily levels isn't good for the leaderboards, and it only leads to unfairness and dishonesty.